Today, I wanna to highlight five gift ideas for kids that are not only going to be entertaining, but are also going to build life skills, STEM knowledge, and also enhance and feed their creativity and curiosity so that they're actually learning at the same time. Now, now full disclosure, when I did my research, the products that I'm going to feature today, they were the ones that I thought if I was going to purchase this product, this is the one that I would be purchasing. Now, in a lot of cases, we already have most of these things, so I'm not looking to replace them, but a lot of the ones that we have are older and some aren't even being created anymore. So I wanted to find some updated options for you. So you might just use these ideas as kind of a jumping off point for coming up with an idea for a gift that you think your child would like even more. The first gift I want to highlight is a sewing machine. You guys, my daughter started sewing when she was five. And she made so many cute things, even at such a young age. And she loved being able to create things that weren't just pretty decorations, but were actually useful. Now, this is not just a gift for girls. Boys can make so many fun things for themselves that they wouldn't necessarily have thought to make if they didn't actually have the tool sitting right there. And it's going to help them to not only learn how to sew, but learn how to project plan, learn how to measure, learn how to follow a pattern or at least follow a plan. It's not always a great idea to just grab some fabric and start sewing. They might try that once or twice, but they will quickly realize, I need to put a little more thought into this. And that's great. That is the kind of skill we want them to learn without us having to sit them down and teach it to them directly. So if you have a child who at all likes to work with their hands, likes to build or create things, a sewing machine is a great option. The machine that I featured here is a Singer. Singer is a very well-established brand. Um, it is not super cheap. However, it's not super expensive either. And it has a fair number of features. And you want to make sure if you are looking at a different kind of machine that you're looking for things like being able to do multiple stitches, not having too many features because while features can be great, for a beginner, it can be confusing and you don't want too many things mucking up the system. Um, and you also want to make sure that you identify a place locally where you can take the machine to get it serviced. Typically, uh, if there's a Joann Fabrics near you or any kind of fabric store, typically they have somebody on site who can uh, clean machines and kind of get them running again if your child decides to kind of go crazy pushing buttons and turning dials and then suddenly it's not working very well. But you're gonna be able to do pretty much anything that you want to at a beginner and even an intermediate level with a machine like this. The second product I wanted to highlight is Snap Circuits. This is actually Snap Circuits Junior. There is a more complicated version, but I thought this would be a great set for families to start out with because it's going to introduce your child to how circuits work. And it's going to also provide them with everything they need, including instructions, to build a hundred different projects. This is a great hands-on learning tool that does not feel like learning. This is the thing about buying educational gifts for kids. When it smells too educational, they don't want anything to do with it, right? But if you show them something like this that is very much like Legos, that's really more about just kind of throwing things together and see what happens, then it's exciting for them to kind of experiment and problem solve. And they can probably think of some ways that they can combine this with something like Legos to make something big and exciting that does all sorts of things all at once. So again, this is not just a boy gift. Girls can play with this too. They should play with this because it's going to give them an understanding of how circuits work. And it's a great start to introducing them to things like coding and computers and electricity and all sorts of things. So if you decide to look at a similar product because you don't want this one specifically, make sure that you're looking for something that comes with instructions for lots of different projects, not just five, not just 15 or 20. You want this to be something that your kids can keep coming back to over and over and over to build lots of new things and make sure that it has enough different types of components that they can start kind of creating their own things and not just following the instructions. That is really what you want to see happen. You wanna see your kids taking the information they've learned from these other projects and then figuring out how they can create their own things. But that can be hard to do if there aren't enough pieces. So the third product that I wanted to highlight is an embroidery set. 
if you have a child who's really artistic, really creative, then something like this is a great way to introduce them to the art of embroidery and showing them how they can take something plain, like maybe a pair of jeans that's got some holes in it. It's not something that they necessarily wear all that often anymore. And they can decorate them. They can practice embroidering patterns and pictures so that they're creating something new. They're upcycling their old clothes. That can lead to a small business at some point. This is something that my daughter's got into for a while, taking old clothes and figuring out how can we repurpose this clothing or how we can we upcycle this clothing into something unique and new. So it's not just, oh, it's a used sweatshirt, right? Or a used pair of pants. And embroidery is a great way to do that. I really like the fact that this set doesn't just show you how to do the stitches with video. How awesome is that? But it also has right there on the cloth the different types of stitches and shows them exactly where they need to place things, which can help them as they're starting to learn how to, you know, do the needle up and down. That could take some time and some dexterity, and it's going to be very helpful for them to have that guide printed right there on the material as they start trying to figure out how to do all of these different stitches. Now, if you decide to look for a different type of set, make sure it comes with plenty of floss in lots of different colors. Make sure that it is giving clear instructions. If it doesn't have videos like this one does, make sure that you can see kind of what the instructions look like, that they're not super simple, but something that's detailed enough that a young child can follow it on their own so that they can figure out how to do all of these stitches and they're not left having to try to kind of problem solve and figure it out on their own. The fourth product that I wanted to highlight is a set of honest to goodness, real building tools. There are some kids tool sets that are mm, pretty shoddy, uh, lots of plastic. They're probably not particularly strong and aren't really meant for actual projects. What I love about this set that I found is that everything actually works. Your kids can actually build stuff with this set of tools. And while it doesn't come with a instruction book or any kind of like project guide, there are lots of those to choose from on Amazon. And so you can find something like that to go with this to give them some ideas of things that they could build. And having these tools at home means that your kids can actually help you when you're doing things around the house. And again, do we not want our kids to learn how to fix basic things, how to build basic things? If you've got scrap wood lying around or you're able to get your hands on some, this is a fantastic way to teach kids math, geometry particularly, and following through on projects, planning projects, all of the things that they need to think through if they want to create something useful. And I think that's one of the really important things that we want to focus on with our kids when we are teaching them skills like this is that these are not just ways that they can learn academic subjects in kind of a hands-on way, but that these are life skills that they're going to be able to apply so that they can actually create useful things. They can be productive. They can maybe even find a skill set that they didn't realize they had an enjoyment in something that can go on to be either a hobby or even a lucrative career. Now, if you want to look for a different type of tool product, then make sure that the tools are not plastic. Make sure that they are actually metal and you know they have good grips on them for their hands. And you want to make sure too that they are the right size and that they're strong enough that you know, if your kid ends up dropping, you know, the hammer or something off the workbench, it's not going to break into, right? And the last product I want to mention is a microscope. Microscopes can open your kid's eyes to the whole world of things that they never even knew existed. Get a little drop of pond water and put that on a slide. Get that magnified a hundred times. Oh my goodness. Talk about eye-opening. This can be such an incredibly useful gift, not just for teaching science, but for helping our kids understand that there's more to the world than we can see with the naked eye and being able to give them kind of that little insight, that little peek into that world can go on to spark a love of science. And if nothing else, maybe make them a little more interested in that subject in school, even if they don't go on into some kind of a STEM field. One of the things I learned when I was researching these is that there are a lot of really cheap ones out there that are really more like toys. They aren't really very good for, you know, looking at the pond water. You want to make sure that the one that you're getting is strong enough, has enough magnification that you're going to be able to see things like skin cells if you do like a cheek swab or you're going to be able to see all the little microbes that are in that pond water right so if you decide to look for a different one make sure you're paying attention to the reviews 
um, particularly when it comes to how sturdy it was, how well it adjusts um, for the focus, because obviously if the focus is cheap, you're not going to be able to see very much. Now, there are some of these microscopes that also come with a cable that you can use to connect to a computer or a TV or an iPad so that you're able to show everybody, you know, like the whole family, what's going on um, on that slide. Make sure if you're looking at one of those that it actually comes with the cable that you need because some of them are compatible with that, but don't actually come with the cable. Um, and you also want to make sure that it's going to be with compatible with whatever kind of device you have and not just assume that it's going to be compatible with everything, because some of the ones I looked at were not compatible um, with every kind of machine and device. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in my holiday gifts guide series, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.